Hello everyone. Today I will present on the optimal stopping problem of the Markov chain. I'll start with a simple example. Imagine you are rolling a die. If you roll 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, you can stop rolling and pocket a reward that equals your roll, or you can keep rolling. However, whenever you roll a 6, you must stop rolling and you don't win any reward. What would your strategy be if your goal is to maximize your reward? The simple game represents an optimal stopping problem of a discrete time Markov chain, which is a random process with countable time and whose next state depends only on its current state and not its past history. Optimal stopping problems are also formulated for other random processes. Optimal stopping problems for discrete time processes draw heavily from probability theory, while problems for continuous time processes also draw from measure theory. I'll now use the simple game to introduce some key concepts central to our problem. In this game, the outcome of each role can be represented by a Markov chain. The values that a Markov chain can take are called states, which in this example are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. The reward function here says the reward of six, state 6 is 0, and the reward of any other state equals the role. The probabilities that a process transition from any state i to any other state j is given by the transition probability matrix P. In this example, P is homogeneous, meaning the transition probabilities do not vary with time. Lastly, we call 6 an absorbing state because the transition probability from 6 to 6 is 1 and from 6 to any other state is 0. I will now introduce the general statement of the problem. Let y sub t be a discrete time Markov chain with state space i and time homogeneous transition probabilities pij. Let k denote the absorbing state. Let w be the reward function. And let tau denote a stopping rule that prescribes a time to stop the Markov chain. The problem is to determine the stopping rule tau such that, given the process starts at state i, the conditional expected value at the state where the process is stopped under tau is maximized. Since finding tau is the same problem as maximizing our expected reward over all stopping rules, we define auxiliary function m as the conditional expected value associated with a stopping rule maximized over all stopping rules. So to find the optimal stopping time, we can try to compute m instead. The key for computing m is to characterize it as a superharmonic function. Here's the definition. A superharmonic function has the property that Given any state i, the function's value at i is always greater than or equal to the transition probability weighted average of the function's value at any subsequent state j. To show m is superharmonic, we first rewrite m in the following system of equations. Intuitively, these equations say that if the Markov chain starts at the absorbing state, the maximum reward that we can expect is the reward of the absorbing state. At every other state, the maximum reward we can expect is either the reward that we get from stopping the process at a state, or the maximum reward we can expect from continuing the process. The theorem that precisely characterizes M was originally formulated by Soviet mathematician Dinkin. Here is his theorem, which says M is the smallest superharmonic function with respect to the Markov chain's transition probabilities, and that is always greater than or equal to the reward function. To prove this, we need to show that m is superharmonic, m i is always greater than or equal to the reward of state i, and if f is any other superharmonic function that dominates the reward function, m is always less than or equal to f. The dynamic programming equations from the last slide shows that m i is always greater than or equal to the sum of p i j m j, and m i is always greater than or equal to w i which checks out the first two conditions. The proof for the third condition is more involved, and so I will not expand on this in this presentation. With Dinkin's theorem, we are able to solve the maximum expected value function by a successive approximation. We first define a superharmonic function f sub 0 that equals the reward of the absorbing state at the absorbing state and the greatest reward in the state space otherwise. We then recursively define function f sub n to be the maximum between the reward from stopping the process and the expected reward from continuing the process. 
but with f sub n minus 1 being the reward function. A close observation of the sequence f sub n which should reveal that the sequence is strictly decreasing, and for every n, f sub n is a superharmonic function that dominates the reward function. Since the sequence is bounded below, the decreasing limit exists and is also superharmonic and dominates wi. An important fact that I proved in my paper is that m in fact equals the decreasing limit of the sequence of function f sub n. And with this fact, we can now devise a function f sub 0 and use it to successively approximate m. Return to our simple game example. We want to find a strategy that optimizes our reward. And to compute our maximum expected value function, we can define f sub 0 to be 0 at state 6 and to be 5 at any other state. We then successively compute f sub 1, f sub 2, etc. using the definition from the last slide. In this figure, f sub n for each state is shown. As you can see, the sequence become incredibly close to the maximum expected reward function within only 10 iterations. This tells us that our optimal stopping rule is to stop whenever we roll of 3, 4, or 5. Optimal stopping problems have applications in mathematical finance, biology, engineering, and many other situations where the underlying randomness can be simulated. One specific application for mathematical finance is the pricing of an American option, a type of financial security that gives its holder the right to buy or sell a stock before its expiration. In this problem, the underlying process is the stock price, and the optimal stopping problem is to find a time when exercising the option will maximize the holder's payoff. Although my research focuses on the optimal stopping of a discrete time Markov chain, there are many other formulations of the optimal stopping problems. Additionally, the superharmonic function is not the only way to characterize the maximum expected reward. And to conclude, optimal stopping problems are an interesting mathematical question as well as a versatile tool. Thank you so much for your attention.